Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. When there was this angelic rebellion, two third of the angels stayed on God's side, but one third of the angels went on the devil's side or Lucifer's side. And don't underestimate the power of demons. They have great power. We read in the Bible of people being demon possessed and snapping chains and having supernatural strength. I think of one story in the book of Acts of a group of guys called the Sons of Sceva. They're described as exorcists. And by the way, there is no biblical office of being an exorcist. That is someone that has a spiritual gift for casting demons out. Having said that, there are many instances of demons being cast out of people in the Bible, but there's no instance of someone being specifically called to that. In fact, the only instance of someone being called an exorcist, well, they were a dismal failure. So these exorcists, the sons of Sceva, uh, found a man that was demon possessed and they commanded the demon to come out of the person. Come out in the name of Jesus, they said, whom Paul preaches. See, they didn't have a relationship with God. They thought there was some magic in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches. Well, the guy who was possessed by demons attacked them and tore off all of their clothes. So they ran away scared as they should. We're no match for the devil. That's why we need to stand in the Lord and in the power of his might. You know, when police officers are uh, answering a call and there's some kind of danger, the first thing they usually do is call for backup. You're in a spiritual battle and you need to call for backup. You need the Lord's strength in your life.